play. So, I have discussed lahat ng heat transfer, but not this one. So, we have a new um, discussion, and that is about yung composite wall. Yun nga lang, what if your composite wall or your walls are magkapatong? <clears throat> okay? So, we'll talk about thermal resistances in parallel. Okay? So, makikita nyo dito that if I have a composite wall, ayan, you have wall number 1 and then wall number 2. So, yung heat transfer mo dyan between them will always be the same. So, Q is constant. Okay? Yun nga lang, ano ba nangyayari? You have here resistance at 1, you have also here resistance at 2. So, if they are in series, parang yung mga resistors natin sa basic electrical engineering, yung total resistance mo of the heat transfer will be equal to additive lang. So, R1 plus R2. Okay. What if the thermal resistances are in parallel? Okay. According here, the thermal resistance concept can be used to solve steady state heat transfer problem in parallel layers like on the figure or combine series parallel arrangements. It should be noted that uh, these types of problems often two or three dimensional but approximate solutions can be obtained by assuming one dimensional heat transfer. Okay? Just using yung ating thermal resistance network. Para din yung resistance network on resistors. Okay? Now, if you have a heat hill, then you have heat hill, Q. Q. And the insulation is parallel or magkapatong. We take their total resistances as if we are taking the total resistance of parallel resistors. Okay? So, the Q on the upper part, which is Q1 and Q2. This is a series. We know that Q1 is equal to Q2. Or if there are several more, all of their heat transfers will be the same. Ano lang nagbabago? So, ang nagbabago dyan will be the temperature gradients on the interfaces or the contact phases nila nagbabago talaga yung temperature change niya. Okay? In here, we can say that Q1 and Q2 will be the total heat transfer. So, additive dito. Okay? Kung magkapatong siya, so your heat will be additive. Okay? Now, what happens dun sa kanilang area? So, depende yan. If your area is just half or a part of the other area or just a ratio, you should take note of that. We recall that yung RT natin is the total thermal resistance and that is equal to the okay, thickness of the wall divided by your uh, K is uh, how dito? constant to eh. Thermal resistance constant ata. Or thermal conductance yun. So thermal conductance constant of the material and then you multiply it with A. Diba? Sir, bakit naging ganun? We take kasi yung Q, diba? pag uh, single wall, that is Ka delta, delta T. Or the temperature gradient divided by X. Ito kasing part na to is what you call the overall conductance. So U. U T is overall Conductance. Yan. Overall conductance yan. Where, if you take overall conductance, so U, T, is equal to 1 over R, T. Where, this is the total thermal resistance. Yan. Madali lang naman yung mga problems na ganito. You just have to follow several steps. Okay? The best way para maintindihan mo 
sinasabi ko pa nga noon pa, is you, call, you calculate the total resistance first bago mo ipasok dun sa yung problem. Now, so, we can say that uh, in following yung ating resistances, the thermal resistance network, tignan nyo yung ating uh, schematic figure for parallel resistances, we take walls, wall 1's resistance and wall 2 resistance. So what happens there? Your resistance nila, you get, okay? if they are in total, in this figure, so the Q total is equal to Q1 plus Q2. Okay? Remember this. <clears throat> so Q1 is K area 1 delta T 1 over X sub 1 plus K okay, 1 2 A 2 delta T 2 over X sub 2. We say that uh, in this figure, yung area niya is not the same. Okay? It will not be the same with area 2. So area is not the same. And then yung kanilang K1 is not equal to K2. And then X sub 1 equal to, not equal to X sub 2. Ito yung mga conditions dyan. Now, we take this part and this part as the conductance. Pero mas sanay tayong ginagawa yung resistances. So, delta T at 1 divided by RT or R of 1 plus delta T 2 over R 2. Look at the figure, ha? So, mapapansin nyo that the figure pumasok as 1, T1, and then lumabas as T2. Okay? Therefore, yung delta T dyan, delta T1 is equal to delta T2. And this is equal to T1 minus T2. Okay? You just have to factor it out. T1 minus T2 Okay? And then multiply it with the 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And we say that this is 1 over RT equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 for the thermal resistance network. So we can say that RT note RT, para makuha mo siya, ganito na lang po, para mabilis. Okay? Ano ba ito? Naka-reciprocal. Baliktad. So, RT. Okay? Equal to. Mabaliktad rin na natin ito. O, oh, erase mo na lang ng negative 1. Ayan. Para bumaliktad sila. Tapos ito, remaining. Okay? Iwalay natin. O, oh, raise to negative 1. As ito, raise to negative 1. Therefore, yung RT mo is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 raised to negative 1. Sir, paano kung 3? O di mas madali ito. Bakit? Okay. If, okay, if more walls are parallel, Parallel yan. Par parallel. Parallel. Much better kung gagawin mo to. Kuwari, 3. Okay? So, if 3. Kuwari, if 3. O, di magkakapatong yan. Di ba? Isang wall. Patong-patong sila. Hmm. Yan yan, no? Oh. You have wall 1, wall 2, wall 3. Tapos, magpa-pass through yung Q lalabas sa skew. Diba? Sir, mas mahirap yung RT. Ganito na lang, RT. Equal to. 
1 over. Okay, lagyan mo ng bracket. R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 raise to negative 1. Kaya sana naman i-cross multiply mo lahat yan kung may lahat ng kanilang common multiple. Bata, simplify mo pa. It is very time consuming. All you have to do is use this formula. Okay? Ito. Use this formula. Tapos, anong unit po ang makukuha natin dyan, sir? O, tignan natin yung unit dyan. So, ano bang unit ng R? Diba ang R is, remember, R is equal to X over KA. Anong unit ng X? Pag SI. Unit ng X, M. Divide by, yung K mo kasi is <coughs> what every meter degree Kelvin. Eh, yung area mo, meter is squared. O, di cancel ito, cancel ito, cancel yan. Therefore, ang unit mo kay R is Kelvin over what? O, yan ang unit ni R. Okay po? So, the best way for you to understand it is, is, is just to solve a problem. Later on, we'll solve the problem. Okay?